Welcome back to another UModeler tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison of ProBuilder and UModeler. So the very first comparison I'm going to be making is I'm going to make a very small cube, a, like a room, so it'll have an inside and an outside with a door. Now you think, oh, a room with a door? That's super easy. That shouldn't take but like a, a couple minutes max, right? Okay, that you could think of it that way. So for let's start with the U modeler first. So we're gonna go to Tools, U modeler, New U modeler, and then we have our U modeler menu opened up here. And to and to make a room, there's actually a special shape for it under Primitive Shapes. So we're gonna click Room. Here we can select the width, the depth, and the height of the room if we want to build it just all at once or we and we also can select the thickness uh, between the inner and outer walls it's like the space between them so I like making this a little bit bigger so I'm gonna do 0 0.1 for that so I actually like drawing the room as opposed to using the one click build but we could use one click build and then all you got to do here is just draw the room I think that's a good size that's a good size. So now we have already we have a room with an inside and an outside. Now we want to make a door. All right, that's pretty easy. All you got to do is in the U modeler menu, go to the drawing tab, select rectangle, and then we can take our cursor here, make a little door doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, though we could make it perfectly symmetrical if we wanted to, since UModeler has some pretty good grid features, but I don't want to compare the grid features right now. So now we have a door cut out. Now if we now if we want to make that door into a hole that goes into our, our room here, all we gotta do is hit Shift E, which makes our push pull tool open here, and then we just push forward, and now we have a now we have a box a little room here with the door now that was easy right all right so now let's make the same the exact same thing maybe different dimensions with pro builder all right so we'll go to tools pro builder we'll open the pro builder window here just put it right there we're going to leave it at icon mode just because I'm more familiar with icon mode personally. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit alt and then click the create cube button. And now here we have a, a little cube. So we can do what we want with this cube. We can set the dimension. So I'm just going to do five, 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 eh, maybe a little bigger. I'd say that's about a comparable size. Now we could also modify this by using the tools up here. So we're going to hit done. So now we have this little room, or well, we have a box. It does not have an inside. So we have a box that has an outside. So if we wanted to make this box also have an inside, what we would do is we would click on the box hit control D that duplicates the box and then we will go make the box a little smaller just do 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 all right and now that the box is a little smaller we will go here to the flip object normals button and now we have a room. All right. Now let's just say we want to make a door. So we will go to the face tool, select the face that we want to make a door for, select the inner face where we want to make the door for. So to do that, just hit sh hold shift. And now we go hit R for for scaling and then we'll hold shift which will kind of add a new extrusion here 
and then we will shift down a little. All right, that's good door size. We'll move that down. All right, that seems pretty good for a door. And now, if we if we, if we wanted to make this into a door, what we have to do is we have to shift, move these in. All right, and now what we have to do is we have to delete all of these faces. And then we, once we select all the faces, we hit delete faces. And there we go. Now we have a room made in Pro Builder. And if we wanted to do some cleanup with this, we would have to make a few adjustments, but in general, that's pretty much how you do it. You could use a, a door instead. So if we were to instead keep these, uh, remove these faces, then we have this big kind of gap here where the entrance is. So what you can do is you can create a door if it'll open up the window. All right, there we go. And then we can go door, move that door over to where our door goes. And then once the door is in position, we hit build, because if you don't hit build and you just exit out, then that will ruin all of the progress that you made. And then if we wanted to make this one single object, we would go select all of the objects and then click the merge objects button. And now we have a room with a door. There might be better ways of doing it in Pro Builder, but from all the tutorials that I've seen and how I learned how to do it, that's how you're supposed to do it. So if you, th if you think about it one way, yes, Pro Builder is free. So, I mean, if you're, if you're willing to deal with that significant amount more effort because it's free, then, I mean, that's, that's your prerogative. But personally, I, I much prefer you modeler because by the time by the time I'm done making this room using Pro Builder, I'm already doing some other stuff in U modeler like maybe I'm adding stairs into the into the room, maybe I'm adding lighting, maybe I'm play testing. Maybe I already have a level, you know, done by the time I'm or prototyped by the time I have this made. And, and let's just say that you, um, you kind of like this aesthetic better, right? Like you can, you can sort of physically see the door. So, I mean, I guess, I guess you could say that was nice. So let's, let's, let's add that in, in you modeler. Let's just say, uh, let's just say you wanted that little, little bump that comes with the door. All right. So all you got to do is go line in the drawing tools. Now we have two rooms, both with little bevels for where the door goes, and one of them took significantly less time than the other one. 